Hi there, today we want to work specifically on the um, aspect of a martial art we all know as kickboxing. And uh, it's, 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 it's somehow, um, let me not say disappointing, but sort of. Most people do not really know what is kickboxing. And there, there's this um, argument over the origin of kickboxing. But I want to tell you that kickboxing originally comes from Japan. Most of us only know about the modern kickboxing, which we are going to see here. But the origin of kickboxing in Japan, formulated from three different arts, motai, boxing, and karate. So let's get on. As we go on, we're going to understand more. All right, now this is how it goes. A form of kickboxing. You take your jab, this is called jab, and throw the jab, that is called jab, and this is called power hand or two. All right, then you take a jab, take a jab, and you take a power hand, and you go for three, three. Good, all right. Now, you're going to take a power jab, Take jab, take power hand, take three, and take four. You take a jab, then power hand, and you take three, and you take four. Okay, all right. Now, this is the basics of kickboxing. It has to do with the flow of punches. Kicks comes in at intervals. All right. Now, how to, how to, to defend or counter kickboxing moves? Have to, your reflex also has to be very sharp. Is here and it's coming. Of course, if a kickboxer is striking a jab, you should expect the power hand. Now, what do you do? A jab comes, go, bam! You see that? A jab comes, go, bam! I stop here, then I go here. Watch again, go, bam! There. All right. Now this strike is hard enough to destabilize, to shake his head and destabilize him and do not allow him to release the power hand. Go! Bam. That's how it goes. You take your body to the side and strike that. Okay, now let's see. Let's allow him go power hand, I mean jab and power hand and see how we can counter on that. Now jab and power hand, jab, power hand, and you take this, take that, watch again, jab, power hand, and you go, good, we try that again, ready, jab, power hand, you see there, first you're out, and here, ha, alright, now let's allow him take one, two, and three, and see how we can interval enter for a counter now ready you go jab and power hand and three now go one two three you see this from the sinking down what happens come back again let me show you the next thing to take go one two and three Bam! watch that again Swift move. You go one, two, and three, and go. Pa. Immediately, we take it slowly. He goes one, back two, there and three, here and go. Pa. Your body moves. Okay. Now we work on the counter on the jab. Walk on the counter on jab and power hand. Walk on the counter on jab two and three. Now let's see. Let's align flow. Jab two, three, then four. We counter interval. Ready? Let's go one, two, three, and four. All right. Now that is the defense. But how about the counter? Now let's see the counter. Slow. One, two, three, and four. Bam. You see this? 
here. Wait here, you can even throw him down from the strike. Throw him down. Because you lock the four. Take the four again. <coughs> Take the four. You lock the four here. And as you're locking the four, you are going at the same time here. Keep this hand, even if this hand he was here. Strike him with the hand. Back. Now from one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. <coughs> See that? That's to do with speed and precision. If you waste time, you can achieve that. Because kickboxing is a flow of technique. He will not stop. If he goes one, two, three, four, he might come with either kick or he goes back again. He won't stop until he hits the target. So you need to, at interval, find a way to suspend him, counter him. Please don't forget, subscribe and hit the bell to get more of this. Okay, maybe today, let's leave you with this. If you need more, please subscribe. Thanks.